Good afternoon, YouTubers. Uh, this truck is probably one of the hardest trucks I've ever built. Um, this is my fifth one, and uh, the tipping mechanism, um, which I should have bought really, was, is 300 odd pound. But I bought this kit, bits and pieces, it's cost me around about 60 quid. So, what I've saved is probably the price of a truck. So, um, well, not this particular truck, but another truck I could build. I'll just show you the mechanism working. Um, I'm still waiting for this uh, universal joint to come. But, uh, but it's, it's what it is. I'll show you in a minute how, how I'll put it together for now. It's quite crude really. As you can see in there, just inside there, there's a piece of rubber tubing and uh, some tie wire, or it's just a bit of copper wire. Um, this, the mechanism there, that cost me 40 quid. Uh, the motor was nine pound, that's a 35 turn motor. Um, it's governed by uh, a separate speed controller um, and the speed controller switch is down there, it's black. So speed controller is in, in the box in there. But yeah, it does work, I'm just waiting. I was going to make um, a universal joint but uh, it's just not worth it. By the time you've messed about or wasting your time, they're only about two pound anyway. But it's just waiting for it to come. I'm a little bit impatient and that's why I've uh, I've started to try and build one. I've added the bits that many times trying to do it. I've um, I've actually when the when the, the uh, universe joint comes that's where it's going to fit onto. That screws and that screws onto the shaft onto that shaft there and then I put the uh, universal joint on the end there and then the other end obviously goes onto the motor um, in theory yes it works uh, yeah. let's see what it is in practice but with the rubber tube it's uh, it is working so it does come off now and again because it's I haven't got a grub screw so all the tube on it's just a bit of and it's jerky because the, it's it's not running square. Um, but if I can get this to run square, um, uh, I'll be over the moon. But you can see the mechanism; it's quite a nice bit of kit. I quite like it. It's uh, very simple to fit. Very very simple. There's just an anchor point there, and then just in there, the other anchor point. So you just, I use the original holes on both frames, the back one and, and, the, and the actual uh, tip apart itself. So I didn't have to drill any extra holes, but uh, yeah, it's just printing it together. And this is, this here is a 3D printed bracket. Um, I've got one, got one very similar to the one I've fitted. That's the one I printed out. But I modified, I modified this one. I made it a little, I made it broader there. Made it about 12 mil broader, so it's got something to to sit on, which is, which is that piece there. You can't see it; it's all black. But that's the that's the piece. That's the extra piece I put on. I rounded the corners off. In case it does move, it's going to because it could stall and then snap. You see the the universal joint or something. If it gives got a bit of movement, it's okay. It's when it's, it's too rigid, it, things start to break. But I'm quite pleased with how it works. It's, 
had a little bit of trouble with the uh, gearbox. I, when I put the the drive on for the motor, I didn't I didn't sit it exactly on the gear, and it was making hell of a noise. And I thought the, it sounded like somebody fell off in the gearbox. But um, no, what it was, I just I said I had to take it all apart again. Get the gearbox out. Find out. I ran this on the bench and it was working perfectly. Put it back in the truck. It was grinding. It was I thought that's that. So what it was, it was the actual drive cog from the motor to the gearbox. It, it was just skipping a bit, um, only slightly, but it made it made it vibrate. And of course, when it started vibrating, it's all plastic, and it just sounded like a box of spanners. So anyway, that's all done. I've waterproofed the end of the motor as well. I'm going to make a, a cover for it so it's completely waterproofed. I mean, even the motor, even the, motor, the drive motor for this tipper is £53 if you, if you buy the proper one. I mean, nine quid to £53. It's, it's, a, big, it's a big leap. So now I'm pleased that it's, um, it's working. If it works, if it works with a bit of rubber band, surely it's going to work with a proper uh, universal joint. Um, yeah. Also use using a um, Fly Sky six channel radio. Now with the Fly Sky radios I can run I don't know how many any servo um how many um, what's the word receivers I can set up do on this. I've, I've got two at the moment so that's that's I can run two trucks. So you buy a receiver uh, and then you program this to for the second truck but I've just I've just had a look and it goes up to just keeps going I think it goes up to about eight or nine from what I'm, so it's uh, it's well worth it so you get a receiver what seven eight pound ten pound at the most and you can uh, upgrade this to a 10 channel so you can you can download the firmware for it and upload it to a uh, a 10 channel which will get all these switches working properly um, and you can also govern the amount of travel that you have on uh, your sticks uh, so I've, I've turned this one stick here I've turned it down I think it's channel 2 I've turned it down to about 60% so you've got a lot of a lot of leeway before you've got full power um, which is which is good when you have got the tipper because you've got to be a little bit gentle with it because it hasn't got any uh, any uh, knockout switches. Um, so if it goes over, it's, it it could pull itself apart. So yeah. Tip out, anyway. but they say if you've got the original Tamiya uh, tipping mechanism on there, they say it's going to tip well, take uh, 10 kilos. I don't know what this is going to take, and I'm not really bothered, I'm not really bothered to be honest. Um, I don't think I want to start chucking soil in it, it's going to be a demonstration model. Um, yeah, so I'm waiting for this universal joint to come. And uh, uh, let's see what happens. I will. It's working okay. 
and it runs runs really well there it is a bit of a tricky truck a tricky truck to, to build um, this part this part's okay um, it's just the tipping mechanism we've got lots of little nuts and bolts on it uh, I think to hold the bed down I think there's 14 screws that's uh, yeah so I'm very pleased let's come out a treat it is cold tonight a lot of rain anyway I'll share that with you and uh, happy trucking. Hey, I'll see you later. Well, the next video I think will be of when I get the actual um, sound card for it and the lights and all that. Uh, I may do a little little video on the if and when I get this uh, this joint, this um, universal joint. So. I'll bid you farewell. Okay, carry on trucking. Bye, bye.